Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a very quick review of Maddie Mod. Quick because there's not really much to say. Maddie Mod was a doll that came out in the 1960s, around the mod era, hence the name. She was kind of like a budget doll. I understand she was very popular. She was kind of like the doll to have if you couldn't afford Barbie. Even though the quality was lower, the style was just amazing. I think that's probably another reason she was so popular. People probably would have even done what I did as a kid and get the clothes and put them on Barbie. She was originally made by a company known as Princess Grace. Eventually, I think in the early 70s, Mego, which was also known for making budget dime store toys, um, acquired the rights to Maddie Mod and then they started producing her. This is one of the last versions of Maddie Mod and she was a gift from my very dear friend Eddie. So thank you Eddie. This was for my birthday, just gone, um, which isn't just gone, it was in November, but <laughs> it takes me this long to get to things. But yeah, she's just a simple budget doll. Let's just have a quick look at her box before we rip her out. It has these very cute 70s illustrations of flowers. I think. Yeah, they're quite nice. It says Maddie Mod, it has the Mego logo there, and then it says 11 and a half inch fashion doll, fully posable and rooted hair. Then on the back, it says Maddie Mod, same things again. And then we have some pictures of her various fashions that you could get. So it's collect them all. And it continues on to the sides as well. Uh, not this one, just some flowers. And you'll probably notice that some of these fashions were also sold as Ward's exclusives, also as Cindy fashions. So Cindy the doll by Pedigree, the UK's answer to Barbie. But yeah, so let's get this open. Simple tab at the bottom. And then you slide her out. And she is actually held in by a disintegrated elastic band, which has melted onto her swimsuit and her hair. Which is very long, very long hair. Blonde, obviously with the signature Maddie Mod fringe. This doll has a very unique face sculpt, which was also used for some candy dolls. She also uses the candy body as well with the very cute Mexico type hands. Her arms are rubbery, then move up and down. Her legs move up and down, they're hollow, but they have wire inside, so you can bend them although it doesn't look fantastic. <laughs> and now her leg's gonna like stick out to the side unless I bend that back somehow. So yeah, there is wire inside to make the legs bend, but it doesn't look too great. I prefer to just keep it as it is. So all of the Maddie mods did kind of use that technique of hollow legs with um, wire um, and Mego ended up using that for candy as well. So just for comparison, this is candy. This is actually the lemon scented candy, hence the yellow hair. But um, same body, but she is a lighter skin tone and her face does tend to fade. So all of the regular candies are like that as well. Copper tone candy is the only candy doll that keeps her coloring consistent and that is because she's a tan doll. So that's probably why this doll has held up so well. I also have a candy knockoff. Uh, she is a Qantas doll and I did review her as well. So both of these reviews will be linked below and at the end of the video. But now they have a friend with a different face she does have eyebrows, she has this big smile, very 70s, very down to earth. She has blue eyes with brown eyeshadow, and just very neutral in colouring. Um, she does remind me of like 
the Brady Bunch, like one of Greg's girlfriends or something like that. She also gives kind of like Cheryl Ladd vibes. And she does actually look like an American model. Um, I've forgotten her name, but I will put it up on the screen along with some pictures, maybe a side by side. So what do you think? Who does she look like to you? Let me know in the comments below. She does have some product in her hair, fairly well rooted. And again, she has ears. Some Mego dolls don't, so. She's copyrighted Mego Corp 1977, as is the body. So she probably is a ripoff of Superstar, <laughs> in a way, but more realistic. She also twists and turns at the waist, so it does go on an angle. She has this pink jersey swimsuit that does have a Mego tag inside. But yeah, it's very Barbie-esque, the body. Less articulated as it doesn't have the bend and snap knees. So twist and turn waist, up and down arms, up and down legs. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time. See ya.